hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome 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 my name is mariana aka mary b and i'm so happy to meet you so if you're new here i'm a professional singer i work on board cruise ships i'm currently on board royal caribbean's freedom of the seas and like i've been getting a lot a lot of questions about so many things pertaining to cruise ships so um, I will be eventually doing pretty soon actually doing a, a live Q&A cruise ship Q&A that kind of thing uh, I haven't figured it all out yet but I will be doing that pretty soon and um, so I will answer like all your questions then but then there are some questions that that, that needs <laughs> a dedicated video like this one for instance right so today i'm gonna share with you guys how to be a good roommate top three things and how to be a good roommate and then the top three of surviving a roommate <laughs> If that is something that you guys are interested in, well, yeah, I think, yeah, because you clicked on this video. Give this video for me a thumbs up if it helps you out in any way. Leave any questions that you guys have because, as I said, I'll be doing a Q&A soon. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me. And share this video with anyone who you think it may help any one of your friends family members anything like that anyone you think that it may help please share and without further ado let's get right into this video Hello, everybody. this is your my top three rules or advice if you would like to um, say it in that way of being a good roommate you want to be a good roommate number one if it doesn't belong to you please don't touch it okay I don't think I need to elaborate on that anymore just if it ain't yours don't touch it okay that's it number two respect rest time okay so you and your roommate may be on different schedules where maybe they work at night you work in the daytime or vice versa or maybe your breaks uh maybe you will you both work daytime and your breaks are just different everything on a cruise ship is really loud like the doors closing the doors like everything is metal right so you know metal hitting against metal it's just noise it's just so try not to slam doors try, try to close doors pretty easily when your roommate is asleep or anything like that try not to have loud conversations try not to have people in and out of the cabin um you know especially when your roommate is asleep and uh, music try to keep your music in your earbuds you know there are these little things called earbuds or earphones or earplugs anything you want to call them you can just plug them in and listen to your music that way rather than playing even if you sometimes play it on like a volume of too maybe your roommate is someone that wakes up easily so yeah just try even when you're moving about the cabin and stuff like if you don't want it to be done to you don't do it to someone else i oh light bulb i didn't put that as one but that's overall what i'm trying to say so this third one is if you're a messy person how to say this keep your mess hidden okay clean up after yourselves remember you're away from home your mom dad auntie child husband wife housekeeper none of those people are here so you didn't walk with any of them so you need to yeah do it yourself kind of way that is if you don't have a cabin steward of course clean up after yourself because who are you waiting for to pick it up after you and this is especially if your roommate is a clean person tidy up after yourself if you are so messy and you must be messy then keep it hidden 
you you have your closet space and and drawers and all that you can keep all your mess in there but in the open where remember you're sharing the space with someone else someone who you have never met before most likely someone who's from a totally different culture than um than you you're practically sharing with a stranger so just clean up after yourself and as I said in at the end of number two, I think the gist of what I'm really trying to say is if you don't want it to be done to you, then don't do it to someone else. There are people who the mess won't bother because I mean, if you're a messy person, it won't bother you. But realistically, if your roommate is not like you, then try to respect that person. If of course your roommate is messy, then by all means, y'all can go ahead and live in. <laughs> complete chaos <laughs> i'm not judging i'm not judging you do you you do you honey you do you okay i'm just like help trying to help you guys that's all okay don't come for me don't come for me so now how to survive having a roommate first things first the moment that you meet your roommate you'd wanna make some time to have a conversation about do's and don'ts because obviously you're both from two different places i mean even if you're from the same place everyone's growing up and everyone's lifestyle is a little bit different so having a conversation letting the other person know your do's and don'ts and asking that person as well letting that person as well tell you what their do's and don'ts are that's where you establish um you establish a really good thing at the beginning so there's no basically stepping on toes there is no none of that you know if you are not a morning person like myself be sure to tell your roommate that so that they don't think that oh you talk to me all the time but then in the mo but then you're just not talking to me this morning you know so that they don't take any offense or any anything like that you know if that it just tell them who you are ask them about them and just find a way to work it out and you guys will live happily for your contract another thing is I would say get a toiletries bag like the one that I have. I'll actually have it up on the. I'll put a little video somewhere about here, um, showing you guys. I ordered this one from Amazon and it has been so great. Okay, um, it holds everything. This is the large size that you can get it in a smaller size in the medium. I think there's only two sizes, medium and large, and I got it in the large size so that it can hold like full size products because obviously um, I'm here for a really long time. So it's not um, like a small vacation or something like that. So I decided to get the bigger one to hold full size products. I'm advising you to get a toiletries bag like this if you are working on cruise ships already, if you are about to go on your first contract because people use your stuff it's not you may not get a roommate who does that but if it's just to save you because you're here to save money we can save money and all that it saves you money because you're then buying if your roommate is also using your stuff behind your back then you end up having to basically care for buy stuff for you and someone else take care of you and someone else and you end up buying more frequently than you planned to so that is also something that you should take into consideration like i highly recommend it i mean not all not everyone is like that not everyone will touch your stuff um but just in case you don't know who you're gonna live with so this is fyi <laughs> the third one for surviving a roommate this is if all else fails because you know you have that conversation you're already establish an understanding or you thought so you thought y'all establish an understanding well if it didn't happen and things are just things just keep happening that you're not comfortable with because you remember you will be living here for months at a time so if you are just not comfortable with who you're living with if all else fails then you can always request to change cabins at the hr center or of course report that person to your supervisor 
Oh, I forgot to mention, I mean, I'm just a tidy person, but apart from me being a tidy person, it's also that at least on this ship, we have cabin inspections every week after drills. And of course, if your cabin fails inspection, then both you and your roommates will be in trouble. It's not going to be like on one person, even if one person is making the mess. So yeah, that's just something to consider. I'm sorry if you guys can hear any loud talking outside. I'm filming this at night and people are just i live by the roadside <laughs> let me just say it like that i live by the roadside anyway guys if you found this video helpful please be sure to give it a thumbs up for me if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below and i'll try my best to answer them either down there or in my upcoming um cruise ship q a and also subscribe so that you don't miss um that q a and more videos to come someone also asked me how to make your crew cabin homey so that will be the next video that you guys will see after this one and yeah uh, so subscribe because you got that coming and click that notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from me and i will see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.